So uh, we live in a matter dominated universe, which is actually a mystery since uh, with all the experiments we do at CERN, we always see as many antimatter as matter produced. In our universe, we don't observe that. So there's this huge asymmetry and that's the motivation for my research to find uh, where this asymmetry comes from. So then the question is, how are we going to measure this asymmetry? Well, you can do that basically in two ways, or you measure directly, see if there's a process where antimatter happens more often than matter. That's not something that I can do by myself. And we need to upgrade and, and improve the, the, the experiment. But what, what I can do is focus on one particular process that we measure and really do a precision measurement and see if there might be some, some difference that can explain this, this asymmetry between matter and antimatter. And I studied the uh, heaviest elementary particle that we know, the top quark. Uh, the top quark doesn't exist in, in uh, daily life around us because it's too heavy, but we do produce them uh, at the LHC, at CERN, uh, which we measure in the Atlas detector. And here you actually see the process where the top quark is produced. On this side is actually the incoming particles which we collide and you see an interaction here, some force carrier. And this red blob is then what we call the production vertex where the top quark is produced. And here is then its decay vertex. Uh, in, in an effective theory, there uh, is a process possible in this vertex that is related to the asymmetry between matter and antimatter. With, with the mathematical equations, we dive a little bit into the technicalities, but that's what we do here. And uh, basically this, this one is what we call the standard model. And then we have all these, these extra terms. There's uh, one particular process that can cause the, the difference between matter and antimatter. And that's this one here, the CITW. So what did I do? I uh, produced all these simulations and then tested my simulations with data. So this is my, my final result. You see two lines, so it's always the data are the black dots and the red line is the model that I uh, simulated. In my final result, I can uh, fit or extract what the contribution of these extra terms are and you can see that my model nicely describes what the data tells us. Yes. So what I measured is this black dot over here. The black dot is my measurement result and the red star is what the standard model predicts. So I don't measure the standard model exactly, but it's within this uh, green band. So it's within its uncertainty. But if my result is true, the top quark contributes to an asymmetry between matter and antimatter. And for that reason, our universe is dominated by matter.